the family history, actually it goes back to my dad, Samuel Penpass, his younger days, and his siblings. When this Magnolia House became the Green Book Hotel back in 1949, I'd say probably the 60s, uh, around the 60s, 70s, Dad, as a very young kid, he would actually run up and down the street here on a regular basis, and he'd be looking out on the sign to see who was staying here this week. And so I remember his story around Joe Tex was here one particular week, and so Joe Tex would go out on the on the porch to sign autographs with the kids, and so he was a part of that. His uh, his brothers were a part of that. Because of that, when the Gist family in the 90s, I think before they even got the for sale sign, like really dug into the ground, Dad picked it up and started his, his visionary journey of, of restoring this in the history. So, you know, I think my family has significant ties to the triad community in so many different ways. It's very fitting for us to carry on the legacy of what this home represents. So some of my favorite aspects, I would say, oh gosh, it just has this swag to it. You can just feel it. it. It has this energy behind it. And you can just really feel that soul. You know, even when, you know, we open up our doors on Sundays to the community and we do tours, that is like the number one piece of feedback we get especially upstairs, like you can just feel the vibe, all of the, uh, the, the living that happened here, all of the experiences and the history that was made. I'd say that that's my, my favorite aspect. The foundation's overall mission is to create an exact replica of the 1949 Green Book Hotel that looks like a genuine, authentic experience that is created in the home that you know, James Brown experienced that Louis Armstrong experience, or James Baldwin either, even. What does that look like to the community? We'll continue the dining services so they can have the eating experience that Mama Gis created. We host private events, corporate meetings, organizational meetings, and you know, on, on the front end to the community, it looks like we're an event space. It looks like we're a restaurant. On the back end, what we're trying to share with the community is, you know, this is where Charlotte Hawkins Brown had her gala for her goddaughter. All women's meetings happened here. You know, so you truly are recreating that history by having those events. Mama Gis serving Louis Armstrong when he was here for three weeks at a time. Well, yes, come join us for brunch but come join us for the Mama Gist experience because that's what this house did. The next line is opening up the overnight accommodations. And, you know, I think when that's done, that helps to complete that replica. And then we're charged as a organization to be able to then share and celebrate those. So that's where the museum will come in to play. So some of the challenges that we've run into, a couple of things. So while African-American history is an absolute story to be told, to be known, to be understood and respected, historically, did, did we do a good job of documenting those things, of you know creating the, the credibility behind our true history? Not so much. So, you know, that's been one issue for us in terms of really digging in and getting the, the truly human side behind the Gist family. The, the truly human side about behind when the star, you know, the prominent guests would stay here and what that was like. I'd say some of the other challenges that, that we experience here is, and that's for any historic home. And, you know, I, this is, was a big part of, you know, my dad's journey in restoring this. In historic homes, you don't know what you don't know until you start getting in there from a structural standpoint. So the issue around keeping the, I guess, the authenticity of that structure and making sure to capture that era, the architecture and, and things like that. And I think that's been a fun challenge because we're learning a lot, but a challenge nevertheless. In terms of opportunities, this house creates an opportunity, I think, for the triad to 
to expand their connection with the rest of the world. I think this house creates an opportunity to enhance the narrative behind the, the history of Greensboro. The Woolworths sit in absolutely, absolutely is a great contribution in terms of the civil rights movement. This is another part of that story, right? As are so many other elements and historical things that have happened. The advantage, I, I would say the biggest advantage for working with this house is because of, I guess, how it's built the the I don't know the correct verbiage but the the architecture and the details in the build of the house both inside and outside it creates this really really cool canvas if you will to do some really neat things with I mean I know current day the hustle and bustle when we think about housing and development it's been a lot on suburbia and cookie cutter houses and so you know, it's, it's just creating this really unique Canva to really do something with. And I, I think that's super, super fun. The advice I would give for people of my age or the younger gender generation, when it comes to historic homes and, and saving the historic homes, I think it's number one, very important to connect with that house. Really understand what all does that house represent because that'll further your connection. You know, and I'll tell you, when we talk about the human side of any of us, having a, a meaningful or an impact, you know, be a part of your life journey, that's really important to a lot of us. And so when you connect with that house and you learn more and more about that house, it's just a unique way in finding that meaningful place in your life that you just wouldn't expect. Because I certainly didn't expect that at all when I started. I think the other thing too is please keep the historic aspect of the home. Um, you know, don't try and modernize it and, and change, um, you know, its originality of what it is. And be creative in learning how to love that piece. Because um, again, it all goes back to your quality of life.